so hi guys welcome to your pedia education so today there is one great news for those all student who have applied for the gale so you can see here the list of candidates shortlisted for selection process for the post of executive trainee in e2 grade advertisement number right this was a advertisement which was floated by the gale way back and i guess this is one of the golden opportunity for all the shortlisted student they have mentioned your gale registration number your gate registration number and name of the candidate and date of the selection process on which day your selection process or your final stage will be concluded so guys if you believe you have worked really hard for the gate exam and this is the opportunity which you are looking forward so don't miss this opportunity at the last stage last stage will be interview and interview is very important see the only difference in the psu's interview and research organization interview is that for the interview of gale you don't need to go into well depth obviously you must have idea of the technical subject and at the same time you have proved by writing a gate exam and getting good marks in the gate that you have the technical knowledge in gale interview they will check your other aspect also related to your behavior related to your personality related to your mind of presence related to your you know general awareness around your society questions related to your btech project questions related to your other activities you have done in the btech they might be asking you to fill one application form there you will be giving your strength weakness hobbies entire detail right so how you can prepare that well so that you can convince the committee there that you are the right person you are the perfect person for this position in this kind of interview you need to show that you is a you are a multiple dimension personality multi dimensional personality their focus is not only on selecting the person who is good in academics only because there you need to work in the cross functionality environment and for that your adaptability your versatility those all factor are very very important so guys if you are looking forward to appear for this interview and if you believe that your your name is there your registration number is there this is for electronics and communication people likewise same we have again for computer science student right you can see here list of candidates shortlisted for selection process for the post of executive trainee and this is for the computer science student again this is the list so if you believe your name is there in the list and you are looking forward for this position executive trainee position which is really a ultimate position to start your career with a psus so don't miss this opportunity to prepare the interview as a computer science student they can ask you lot of questions that how as a computer science student you will be effectively contributing to the gale and you know in today's world we are living where we are everywhere surrounded by the technology you must be well aware what kind of project and what kind of administration task a person from the computer science background will be handling in the gale department how you can basically make that process more automated more smarter and more intelligent for that what kind of idea you have in regard as per the requirement of that gale company that will stand out you apart from the other candidate many times i have seen student believe that only preparing for the you know technical question that will give you final selection in the psus like the gale see technical knowledge is required but at one stage you have proved by getting good rank in the gate exam that you possess the technical knowledge so now my last advice to you all is who are shortlisted for electronics and computer science don't miss this opportunity don't only focus on the technical subject don't believe that if you are good in the academics only only then you will be selected you need to see all the factor and you need to prepare in the all direction and as you know your pedia education is mentoring and guiding student for the interviews of various psus be it research organization be it some other kind of psus or be it some other positions right so where you can get opportunity to learn from the mentor you can get some practice mock in the form of the full mock where two to three mentor will be discussing with you the kind of question relevant question which you can expect in your final interview and they will be assessing your ability from different dimension be it from the non technical point of view be it from your behavior point of view be it from your you know general awareness or mental presence point of view so that gives you basically opportunity to exercise the final scenario well ahead of the final case right 
and apart from that how to prepare your BTEC project how to prepare your work profile these all are really well guys okay I know you have done good in the project I know you might be very sincere worker but when it comes to the real situation then sometime if you don't have practiced these all stuff you might feel trouble and you might be in you know kind of the situation where you start feeling the nervous so these kind of the mock interview and snap interview gives you a great opportunity to prepare for the final step or for the final show or the final show right so if you are looking forward to basically grab this opportunity with the gale you want to start your career with the gale don't miss to prepare with your pedia education join your hand with the your pedia education we will be guiding you till the last of your opportunity thanks a lot